Hey, what's going on boys and girls? This is Clay over at Best Body Shop. Chris came and got me and uh, sorry about the video, probably a little shaky. Chris isn't using his new gimbal yet. I don't know why. <laughs> kind of communicate to you guys a little bit and, and our heart is not only to be the best body shop that produces really good quality work but to actually talk to you guys and educate you guys about um, some of the things in our craft. One of the most common asked questions here at Best Body Shop would be uh, what's the difference between aftermarket and an OEM and actually if you guys want to know the, the truth, when you look at your insurance estimate, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's written in. I mean, there is aftermarket, there is remanufactured, there is Kappa certified, and then there's value line. There's all kinds of different options, especially when it comes to, to bumpers and fenders. So we wanted to kind of show you a little bit of what the difference is. So you guys can make an educated decision on what you do on your car. This is an aftermarket certified bumper. So it's supposed to certified by the insurance company to be okay to be used for a insurance certified repair. Now here's the deal. We painted it, put it on, and found out that the fitment is just not that good. This is something that would not pass here at the body shop. That's why we're going to go ahead and write a supplement to the insurance company and we're going to redo this bumper but with OEM parts because we don't like the fact that it doesn't fit. This week alone we ran into about three different instances one of them was, you guys have been watching probably Cody Walker's car that came through here. We ordered a, a uh, according to the insurance, I think they, they wanted us to use an aftermarket certified, Kappa certified fender. We ordered the fender, we test fit it, it doesn't fit, so we did return that and we got a new one on its way, an OEM one, so that we can get our nice fitment. We are not uh, the kind of shop that wallers out holes and just makes it fit, makes it right. We want the end product to look like nobody's ever been there. So. That's a little one-on-one -on, -one on the difference between aftermarket and OEM. Like I said, there's good on both. And it, it really is about knowing the cars that you're working on. Uh, there's a little snip clip right there for education. Hope this guys, uh, hope this helps you guys out. Anyway, uh, next time you guys look through your estimate whenever there's an insurance deal, that kind of tells you wh what you're looking at when it says aftermarket or CAPA certified or OEM. Um, you guys can make a good educated decision from there.